fucking love this game. Saw a documentary on Wolfenstein. And I actually want to play all the games. It looks like it has a really interesting story. Yes. Yes. Um, the original Wolfenstein games were actually a lot of fun. I mean, they were basically just Doom. But they were a lot of fun. They did a few things differently. The HUD being integrated to where it makes sense in the world. Even the health bar in the back makes sense. It's useful for coworkers to see the health of the people they work. It, yeah, exactly. Exactly. The the one thing the one thing that's weird that I, I didn't think really made sense in this particular game was like his fucking straight jacket has a has a health bar on it. Like I, I guess in a way that might make sense to like know the health of your patients, but like I don't know. That that part that seemed weird to me, but I I don't care like it doesn't ruin anything in the game for me whatsoever so oh nice september wait i'm stupid i thought september was november cry <laughs> yeah yeah i should probably well i mean i should probably take september off of there because uh because um because it's not september anymore but like honestly honestly i would I would continue playing uh, horror games through November. If I find enough of them. Isaac! Isaac, are you there? Geek, can you hear me? Why you want Stross? Work is over. I do want to get back to Yakuza at some point. No, 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 it's not over, at least not yet. Isaac, Isaac, we, we build it. We can tear it down. Are you, you mean the marker? Do you know where the marker is, Tross? It's in the government sector. The government sector, but we have to move now. Now, now, now. Because time is running out for me and for us. Tross! Tross, where are you going? Shit. That part is a bit weird. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit weird myself, but it's like I said, I don't care. It, it didn't ruin the game for me. It doesn't take me out of it. Like I said, the only the only thing that ruins anything in this game for me is that scene that just happened where two random guys grab you as you go into the room and you can't fight back. Like, come on. I think like I, I think that's called something. It's like Ludo narrative dissonance or something like that. It's kind of like in the um it reminds me it, it reminds me of um Yeah, but they're strong guys. Yeah, fair enough. Um it reminds me of when you when you're playing the Tomb Raider remake. And the first time Lara kills a guy, he's like super like bent out of shape about it and has like a, a major issue with it. And then you're immediately off to like killing every single person that you see. Not gonna lie, that got me. That got me like just a tiny bit. Just little things in video games that like they can't help do, they can't help it like it doesn't ruin them. It's not a major issue, but just little goofy things that I notice here and there. When you do, he starts coming back. Who? Who comes back? Who? Look at you. Up so much. What are you doing? Strauss, don't follow. He's not really there. Damn it, Strauss. All right. There's that. Let's see. Anywhere else? All right. I don't think so. Nothing else around here. Finn is shocked and traumatized at the sight of his first battle, but also Finn blows up a bunch of his comrades and cheers about it 10 minutes later. Yeah, exactly. All surviving squads are ordered to fall back. Repeat. Fall back in the sector. Operation Endgame is in effect. 
Wait a minute, who's Finn? Why does that name sound familiar? From the new Star Wars movies. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought you were talking about a video game and I was like, I don't recall any like Finn name video games. Finn names in video games. But yes, exactly. Finn was just not given a good turn in those movies. I have very strong opinions of the Star Wars sequels. Two movies that are pretty great. One movie that's just like meh. Terrible as a trilogy. But three individual movies. Like I said, two pretty great movies. One meh movie. I heard Andor is pretty good though. So I might actually watch Andor. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yup, there it is. Finn was the biggest waste of potential since the Ninja Turtles movies. Agreed. <laughs> Fucking agreed. I liked how they um, how they set it up to where he was potentially force sensitive and then did absolutely nothing with it. Because Ryan Johnson wanted to just. I don't know. Last Last Jedi was a good movie. I liked it. But man. I really wish that he hadn't just completely disregarded things that he really shouldn't have disregarded. It was like two directors that didn't like each other or whatever. Thinking they could one-up the other. That's what it felt like to me. God, I hate how you have to have ammo to use the second function. Dude! Holy shit! Is it shitting on Star Wars time? Count me in. Yes, it's shitting on Star Wars time. I hear that Adam Driver still has back pains to this day from carrying that entire franchise. Oh, come on. I shot that thing like six fucking times. Yeah, Adam Driver still has back pains to this day.
give it credit where it's due. It has remarkable world building with unique races and planets. The power scaling massively takes away from that. It really does. Especially in the later movies when they introduce, you know, the fact that Ray can now heal people. It's like, you're telling me that this person who is not anywhere close to as trained as Obi-Wan Kenobi was, you're telling me that they can do that, but he never could? Like, come on. I think at a certain, and like, at a certain point, I think I can just kind of like disregard that stuff, but it's really stupid. One time I got absurdly high and my cousin sat in front of, sat me in front of episode nine. I turned it into a raging misogynist that day, apparently. <laughs> For example, if someone is a force, why would they ever need? Yes, exactly. The lightsaber is literally made just to be cool. That's it. They were like, or George Lucas was like, this is a cool thing. Let's do it. And that's literally it. I guess you could, I guess you could say like honor type stuff with it. Like, you know, if you have like in, in fantasy worlds, like if you have a gun, why would you ever use a sword? You know, it's for the, it's for the skill and like the, the honor of combat and, you know, shit like that basically. Darth Vader is one of the most badass villains ever. Oh, he's one of the best villains ever created. A hundred percent. Pretty sure you can just throw stuff at the mine. Th oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yep. Just fucking wasting ammo over here. I wasn't even thinking about it. Wait, do the I bet the mine guy do the mine guys like give? No, they don't give anything. Cringe moment, absolute cringe moment. Skill issue. Opium. Uh, let's upgrade something first. How about that? Oh, let's see how my frame. All right, no drop frames still. Dude, my CPU, I don't know, like, I don't know if the settings got fucked up when OBS updated recently, but my CPU is running at like 75%. And I have no idea why. It did not used to do that before. It would, it would run at like 35, 40%. And I think it's because I offloaded a lot of the processing for the stream onto my GPU, but now I don't think it's being offloaded into my GPU and I don't know how to like, I don't remember how to do like set it up to do that again. I got to look it up, but it's fucking irritating. Like I just look over there and I see like my CPU percentage and feel like it's about to blow the fuck up. That's, that's good. Zero gravity in a bag that says levitations. Started a randomized Pokemon Nuzlocke and about halfway through got a Groudon with the Hustle ability. Nice. I should do a Nuzlocke run at some point.
I've heard really fun. I've heard that Nuzlocke runs are really fun. I just don't know which one I would do. Hey, I have no idea which game I would actually do, though. spend 1.4 million coins in the crypts and get zero cosmetics for any character I play. Yeah. That's the one thing I've never liked about the crypt in those games. That it's all randomized. Whichever game is your favorite. Yeah, fair. I would probably do Emerald. Like, Emerald's one of my favorites. I wouldn't think that it's, like, my favorite. But definitely a great game. Oh, lovely. Great. Yeah, I left the babies there because I was like, well, fuck it. Why, why even fight them? was really good that was the original one that i played on ds or that that was the one i played on the uh for the ds ones um i'm playing brilliant diamond on the switch now and it's pretty good it's a it's a serviceable remake Strauss. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Strauss, listen to me. You need to keep moving. Can you get to the train? Can you do that? He's coming. Can't talk. Palkia is my favorite Pokemon. Dude, Palkia is an awesome Pokemon. I always thought that Palkia looked cool as hell. And Palkia looks like a dick. A lot of Pokemon look like a dick. Diglett? Yeah, exactly. Doug Trio? It's just three Diglets. Just three smooth dicks coming out of the ground. Very disturbing imagery. Very disturbing imagery. Oh, great. I love this part. These fucking things are going to stalk me. Yep, I see you back there. I know you're back there. Actually, you know what I want? Because these things remind me of Velociraptors. Like the things that they, maybe they're not going to attack me yet, but there are things there. There are these things that are going to like attack in this room that remind me of Velociraptors a little bit. And it would be really fucking sweet to have a horror game like this, but Jurassic Park. Like that would be really fucking sick to me. Like imagine if imagine if Capcom was like, yeah, let's reboot Dino Crisis and have it be like this. 
instant buy from me. I want to get the buff diglet with the pot case, dude. <laughs> Fucking buff diglet. Oh my god. Or the, the buff Doug trio where they're all cuddling underground together. God damn it. Damn it. Absolute skill issue, I know. Distortion is now a new game plus 149. Oh, fuck that. How long is it taking him to beat a boss now? That sounds horrible. You s fucking assholes. Bro. Bro. He's just spamming black flame because it does percent damage, which is understandable. Totally. But even that does minimal damage. He's cheesing most of them, which is also understandable. Yeah, for sure. I I wouldn't even I wouldn't even know how to handle that. Yes, these guys are a pain in the ass. I could probably be using a better weapon too. But it's mainly I can't get the stasis off on them than anything, so.
All right, this is much better. Force gun? Yeah, I didn't even buy the force gun yet. Dude, having Met having uh, Samus in the Met in the Dead Space universe would be fun as hell. I want to see somebody else get the rights for Metroid. Nintendo doesn't do enough. Did you know? Did you know that fucking Metroid Dread only sold three million units? Absolutely ridiculous. All of those fucking switches out there, and nobody fucking played it. No wonder Nintendo doesn't give a fuck about Samus. Oh man, Samus in Mortal Kombat 12? Oh yeah. I I would I would absolutely play her. She would be my main. She was my main in Smash Brothers. Um pretty pretty much every Smash Brothers game was either uh, Samus, or once once we got to uh, Wii U and Ultimate, um, it was um, Zero Suit Samus. Because she could move a lot easier. The major success given that Prime 4 sold Zero... Dude, Prime 4 is... I don't think that Prime 4 exists, actually. Like, I highly, I highly doubt that game is coming out anytime in the next three years. And I, I want to be wrong. Like, I really hope I'm wrong. But I just don't think it exists. Isaac, he's gone. Listen, the steps can destroy the marker. Step one, crawl into the dark machine. Step two, the screws go tight all around. I don't understand. Oh, God, he's back. No, 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 no. So I think it's great what he actually is talking about when he's talking about the dark machine. You actually figure out what the fuck he's talking about and it's really fucking gross. I played Ike and Samus. I've never even played Fire Emblem. I just thought Ike was cool. Ike was really good. Roy and Ridley. I never played Ridley, but I played Roy. Ike was really good though. Um, I thought Roy was really good as well. Oh yeah, Ridley's in the uh, Ridley's in Smash Brothers Ultimate now. Yeah, dude, I I should really get Ultimate again so that I can play as uh, Ridley. See what it's like. Said that try to kill me. Hey, take it easy. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah. You got yeah, I know Minecraft Steve is in it too. That's just goofy in my opinion. I think Banjo Kazooie is in there now too. Yeah, Diavolo doesn't pay attention to Nintendo. He's like me in that respect. I'm Isaac. Ellie, what do you want, Isaac? I'm he wants that ass. That's what he wants. I need to get to the government sector. Is he really? What do you think we were trying to do? Hey, I can help you. Besides, we got a maybe it's just because I don't like together. Minecraft. Don't you agree? It's not a chance, Isaac. Other people are just a liability. I'll release the door lock. But after that, you're on your own. 
And please, don't follow me, okay? Wait. He's broken? Wait. Interesting. I wouldn't think that... I wouldn't think that Nintendo would allow a Minecraft character, something owned by Xbox, to be overpowered. Not that they would make him shitty, like, on purpose, just that they would let him be more overpowered than some of their other characters. Mortal Kombat is some goofy shit, too. Robocop is in MK11, but at the same time, Robocop is canonically good at fighting, unlike Steve. Yeah, exactly. I mean, hell, most of the characters in fucking Smash Brothers, I'm like, really? Y'all would not be good at fighting in, in your normal game. Oh, shit. I tried to catch... I wanted to try to catch it. Play Sephiroth too? I mean, yeah. Sephiroth's fucking awesome. I saw I saw the post that you made on um the one guy's um on the one guy's Twitter uh showing your setup and I saw your Sephiroth statue. It looked really fucking cool. Kazuya is fun to play as. Wait, who is Kazuya? Protagonist of Tekken. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Dude, Kratos was really fun in Mortal Kombat 9. I didn't play as Jason in 10, though. But Kratos was really fun in Mortal Kombat 9. I just, I didn't want to get the force gun yet. What the fuck? Bro, this guy played dead. That motherfucker legitimately played dead. Yeah, I bought the force gun for those guys in the first game, but I don't really have a lot of credits. In a variant that resurrects him to about 15% HP, how do you kill him on top of having highest damage combos in the game? Interesting. Jesus Christ, man. I forgot how much they just throw enemies at you in this game. Tekken 8. I didn't see the Tekken 8 trailer. I was really into like Tekken Tag back on the PS2, but I haven't played Tekken since.
Dude. So fucking sick. I love it. Not even a fighting game kind of guy, but I love the worlds to these games. I like Mortal Kombat a lot. Uh, I liked Dead or Alive a lot. I wish that they would make a new Dead or Alive game. Yeah, I have no idea what the lore of Tekken is. There's a YouTube video I've have saved that I've never watched that I should probably watch at some point because it always seems interesting I was never big on Street Fighter either the monster the absolute monstrosities that people are making with the Street Fighter 6 character creator though is kind of great Kazuya's father has trained no less than three bears in his style of karate. That is a wild sentence. Like, that is an absolutely wild sentence. Dude, just, like, that makes the, that makes the, uh, Dark Souls monstrosities that people create, like, that makes them look like nothing. Makes them look like normal fucking people. I'm out. Reading is out of this world. Thank God health I don't have to buy. Yeah, I might mess around with Street Fighter 6 just to mess around with the character creator and do some funny, goofy shit. As he started experimenting on animals like kangaroos to make them soldiers in his private military. So he had a private military of kangaroos. At least one and his name is Roger. I love that his name is Roger. All right, now the more powerful ones are starting to come out.
see. Get some ammo and credits. Hell no. That got me the first time I ever played this game, not gonna lie. Got the attention of some PETA equivalent bitch who ended up being the mother of his child. Was she the mother of his child first, or became the mother of a child after? Because she was like, oh my god, this guy's so sexy. No! Oh my god, no, please. Please, no. This is fucking absurd. I don't remember there being this many fucking just flat out enemies running at you in this game. Golem-looking motherfuckers. It is because Kazuya decided to make a boxing kangaroo that the entire plots of Tekken 3 to 8 can take place. I need to finally watch that video then. Because this all sounds incredibly nuts. Like, this all just sounds absolute bonkers, and I love it. What, um, what's the name of the person who did the video? Because it might, excuse me, because it might be. Recess is over. Flamethrower. Excellent. Clement. J okay, then yes, it is. Dude, Clement does some really good videos. Yeah, that dude does some really good videos. I wish I could... 
wish I could think off the top of my head what videos I've watched from him, but I know that they're good. Like I've seen a few. I was watching a um I found someone. Another survivor. He says he knows you. Hold on a second. I said stand still. Ellie, take it easy. His name is Strauss. I know him. He looks twitchy. I don't trust him. He is twitchy. Don't move. Ellie, I need him to be not dead. I need him. Shit. Okay, Isaac. I'll march him to the hub, but if he does anything stupid, anything, I will shoot him. I would expect nothing less of you, Ellie. The way that the marker uses the image of Nicole is fucking horrific. Oh, yeah, dude. Like I said, I think I said it earlier. Um, the way that it uses horror in this game, like... It definitely uses all of the horror tropes, but they're done in such a way that it doesn't feel shitty. It doesn't feel overdone. Um, but yeah, so I was watching, um, I was watching a few videos on, uh, on that Polygon article that came out where it was basically saying all from all people who play Elden Ring are sexist because they wanna, uh, they wanna defeat Millennia. And like there were some decent there were some decent takes on YouTube or whatever, but overall that article is just fucking stupid. What did I just hear? Dude. We're up here. You've you've Okay. On Polygon, there's this article that um that someone wrote saying that FromSoft has a women problem and their women problem is that they're um they're uh they're sexist basically um and all of the everyone who plays Elden Ring all of FromSoft's fans all kinds of shit um they're sexist because of the fact that they want to take down Millennia um they that that they can't they can't handle a strong woman being able to defeat them. It is the dumbest fucking article I've ever read in my life. Um, and there were there were a few people that did some good takes on it on YouTube where they were, you know, basically debunking it and everything like that without being without also being sexist and fucked up themselves, um, which is, you know, which is always a plus. Um and it's just like, yeah, it's just it's fucking stupid. I, re I recommend at least going and skimming the article just to see how dumb it is. So we're going to ignore the fact oh, that Millennia was able to fight and stalemate with the most masculine character in the game. Exactly. Engineer. Yes, they ignore all of that. Figures. And they basically they basically also said that that FromSoft writes every female character to be broken and miserable and like all of this other kind of shit. And I'm like, that's every fucking character in the game. In the Shut up. It's okay. It's just a power outage. You guys are right up there. Oh, shit. I think life supports out too. Every character in every FromSoft game. Two remaining runners, Clark and Strauss. I knew it was only a matter of time before you reached the transit hub. One guy on Reddit said she cheated in the fight, so that ma means the fans are sexist. You will find the train inoperable. Fuck Reddit. You cut off power to life support. There may be other survivors. Yeah, welcome to Dark Fantasy, exactly. Beyond acceptable recovery conditions, I can't 
Goodbye, Clark. Anytime I read anything on Reddit, I automatically discount it. Especially if it's about that kind of shit. Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. What the fuck? Oh my god. I know I still gotta move out of the way, but like... Normally those things like to, um... Normally those things like to, uh... Like to curl up after you shoot them a couple times. Alright, much better. It's almost as goofy as the Michael Myers homophobe. Oh my god, yes. I remember that. So stupid. Why did Tideman turn off the power? Anywise is anti-gay. You know what a walker is? Yeah. The ontologist on my crew wouldn't shut up about it. Why is it real? Yeah, it's real. Tideman is one using codes, patterns stored in our heads, mine and Strauss. Everything that's happening on this station is happening because of that marker. I have to get to it and destroy it, and I need Strauss to tell me how. You're a strange man, Isaac. Will you help me? We're about to suffocate, so I think I'm better. Okay, good. Listen, we need power. Without it, we have no air and no train. The sprawl's gotta have backup batteries somewhere. Yes. The solar array's up there. But they've been mothballed for years. Okay, all right, good. I'm heading there now. If I can start them up and get some power to the train. You'll need someone to open the collector panels. I can do that. Take Strauss and keep him safe. I don't remember hearing that about the It remakes, even though there was an orgy with children. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically it was just like he used that as, um, he used that as a way to prey on the fears of the children because one of the child one of the children was gay um and also Derry is just very homophobic in general in the books so and was very homophobic in the second movie like they literally just straight up you literally see a, a gay couple get straight up murdered in the opening of chapter two so it's just how the book is written. Dude, even fucking, even fucking, um, Moist Critical, okay? Like, Charlie. Dude was like, um, dude, um, watched the Velma trailer, you know, and, and, and like, they, they, um, they, of course, um, uh, they, of course, you know, race swapped a lot of the characters in the Velma thing for the Scooby-Doo characters and whatever else. Um, and he was, he watched the trailer and he was like, this seems like it's just trying to spit in the face of the people who love Scooby-Doo. Um, didn't mention anything about the race of the characters whatsoever. And people were spamming in the chat, white guy take and calling him racist and shit like that. It's just like, what the fuck, dude? And he he ends the uh, he ends the thing. He's like, it's like I didn't say anything about race at all. You were the ones who brought race into it, so you're the fucking racist. Those the people are still alive. Yeah, I know. I know. I love it. <laughs> 